In these problems, we're dealing with midpoints of line segments. And the basic rule to remember is that if something is a midpoint, then it's an equal distance from one end to the midpoint as it is from the other end to the midpoint. That's the, the rule of thumb you're going to be applying here. The first one says if m is the midpoint of pq, find the value of x. So p is 3, m is 9. These are like coordinates on a number line. You'd have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in there. The way to figure out what x is, what coordinate that's going to be, is to figure out what this distance is here. From 3 to 9, well, it's 6. I can get that by subtracting, or I could just write off the, the hash marks here like I did. But the distance is 6, so if this distance is 6, then this distance is also going to be 6. So to find what x is, I would just add 6 to 9, and I would get 15. Let's look at this next one. This one's a little trickier. It says M is the midpoint of QP, sorry, PQ. N is the midpoint of MQ. L is the midpoint of MN. If ML equals 7, find MN. Well, that's a lot of information, so I would recommend that we take it one step at a time and draw a picture. First of all, it says M is the midpoint of PQ. So let's make PQ here. PQ, and there's M in the middle. Then it says N is the midpoint of MQ. Well, here's MQ, so N would be the middle of that. And then it says L is the midpoint of MN. Well, here's MN, so L would be right there. And then it says if ML equals 7, find MN. So this distance right there is 7. What's this distance? Well, since L is the midpoint here, if this side is 7, then this side is going to be 7 as well. And that covers from M to N, so it would be 7 plus 7, or 14. And if this problem instead asks, you know, what the distance from M to Q is, well, if this one's 14, this one would be 14, so that'd be 28, and so forth. All right, let's try one more midpoint problem. This one says P, M, and Q are three points on a line. The coordinates of P and M are negative 8.4 and 3.1, respectively. If M is the midpoint of PQ, what is the coordinate of Q? And again, I would recommend drawing a picture. So here's P, here's Q. They've told us M is the midpoint, so we'll stick it in the middle here. And then they're giving us a couple of coordinates. P is negative 8.4. M is 3.1. And we want to find the coordinate of Q. So this is a lot like the first one we did. What we need to do, we know the distance from P to M is going to be the same as the distance from M to Q. So we need to find the distance from P to M. So what's the distance here from negative 8.4 to 3.1? Well, 0 is going to fall somewhere in here, right? And it would be 8.4 in that direction and 3.1 in that direction. So one way to think about this is that I can add 8.4 and 3.1 and get a distance of 11.5. Another way you can do this is take your second coordinate and subtract the first coordinate. Uh, that will give you the distance. So 3.1 minus a negative 8.4, that would also come out to 11.5. So we know that this distance right here is 11.5, so this distance is going to be 11.5 as well. And then to find the coordinate of Q, since we're starting at 3.1 and we're adding 11.5 to that, we just have to add those two together. And we get, what is that, 14.6 for a coordinate for Q. So that's a little bit of work with midpoints.